Hello, my name is Olivia and I'm the Global Marketing Director for Picker at MSD Animal Health. Today, I have the pleasure to have with me Dr. Daryl Holcomb, Professor at the Department of Veterinary Diagnostic and Production Animal Medicine at Iowa State University. Daryl is going to briefly introduce us uh, the work he's done with his two colleagues, Dr. Um, Desmond Hayes and Lee Schultz on the 2020 Global Sign Benchmark. Daryl, up to you. All right, thanks, Olivia. Olivia, did you know that in 2020 that producers in China were the most profitable in the world? With the Global Benchmarking Project, we've used that project now since 2018 to address questions like that and others. Some of the other questions we've tried to address are who are, who are the, uh, where are the producers uh, uh, in the world that are the most cost competitive? In other words, who have the lowest cost uh, of, of production? Uh, we tried to look at who are the most productive producers in terms of the number of kilograms of pork produce or whole herd, or whole herd feed conversion ratios. And then in addition to that, we've looked at then what specific factors uh, contribute to the relative competitiveness or, or, or uncompetitiveness uh, of producers in each country as it related to profitability. And so for that purpose, we looked at things like market pig prices, feed prices, productivity, feed cost, fixed cost, and uh, uh, labor wage, uh, wage rates and then labor uh, productivity. And we also looked at what were the factors that contributed to the relative profitability of producers in each country? So what made them relatively competitive or uncompetitive relative to some uh, average, hypothetical average country? Uh, market pig prices, uh, feed prices, productivity. We looked at fixed cost, wage rates, and then labor usage, all as potential factors to explain the relative advantage or disadvantage that producers have in each country. In addition to that, finally, we looked at uh, the marginal economic values um, of changes in key productivity indicators. For example, wean to market mortality or pre wean mortality or pigs born alive per litter. We looked at small changes in those, each of those key productivity indicators and then assessed how much of an economic impact that had on producers in those in various countries. And so those economic values, those marginal economic values depend heavily on the market pig prices on feed prices, total fixed cost, and things like that. And so it's very, it was very interesting to see then how much variation there was from one country to another, just to simply in what is the value of a 1% reduction in wean to market mortality, for example. Nero, you've really piqued my curiosity right now, and I'm pretty sure also our audiences. So let me remind all of you that if you want to know more about the Global Swan Benchmark, the 2020 report, but also some of the previous years, you can go to our Total Peak Health website where you can find all the information of this amazing job. Take care, thank you.